Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and welcome if you're new here, my name is Angelica. I went a little wild at the bookstore. This is probably the most books that I've ever bought in a day. I'm not allowed to buy any more books for like the rest of the year. I saw this TikTok where this girly pop went to Barnes and Noble and kind of made up her own challenges instead of like, I want to read 50 books a year, which I still have the goal to read 40 books a year. But there was like specific challenges to get yourself out of your comfort zone for reading and it just really inspired me and I wanted to try it myself. So I went to Barnes and Noble. Uh, I actually went to two different Barnes and Nobles. Uh, I went, went to one this morning. Hello, good morning. So I made a list of all the books and I'm gonna go into Barnes and Noble and see if I can find them. I think they have all of the books that I want. Some of them, if it's a hardcover though, I might get the audiobook like on Libby or something. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into Barnes and Noble and see what they got. I'm excited to go book shopping. <laughs> store for an hour like I could not find books how the fuck did they organize that place is it by author is it by title I have no fucking clue and then like one book I ended up just asking and they don't even have it hi it is the evening now eight hours since I last talked to you I have a different set of glasses on and my hoodie on we're in different Barnes and Noble I learned my lesson and I scheduled a pickup for the books I wanted from this one, but I also am gonna browse because this one's a bigger. So <laughs> they also have a Starbucks in here, so I might get a little Bev. Uh, and then I see a Target over yonder. Might hit that up after too. This is turning into a little like shopping vlog. <laughs> That was like insanely more successful than the other one I went to. I should have just came up here before. Um, I ended up getting like seven books. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking? Anyways, I'm not gonna think too much about it. Book haul later. I'm gonna go to Target though. But so. I picked up stuff that like everything like fits in the category of these challenges. So I'm excited to share with you what I got. First challenge is to read a book that you read as a teenager that you did not like. So immediately I think of like school assigned reading. So the first two books that kind of came to my mind instantly were Kite Runner and Catch in the Rye. Kite Runner is supposed to be an amazing book, but when I read it as a teenager, I just did not like it. I think I didn't like the subject matter and thought about rereading it, but I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but I did end up getting Catcher in the Rye because I remember Holden Caulfield kind of pissed me off, frankly. And I remember I only read the first four chapters and the last four chapters of this book and I spark noted everything else. So I'm gonna read the whole thing this time and see how I feel about it. So Catcher in the Rye, there's absolutely no description at all in the book. They just expect you to know what the hell this book is about. If I can recall, uh, Catcher in the Rye is about a boy named Holden Caulfield. He is a young man and he kind of is just like going through an existential crisis, I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it's about, I think. The next challenge is to read books from authors that have different backgrounds than you. So I really wanted to read this book called Night Crawling, but it's only available in hardcover. And I, I can't be reading a hardcover. I have two books already on my shelf that are hardcover that I have not touched. I can't do it, I can't do it. So I actually went shopping in my book collection and I picked Girl, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. Uh, Jane Allen is a woman of color and from Detroit. I am neither of those things. So, very excited to read this. I already have this book in my bookshelf unread, so I'm definitely going to read that this year. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted is about a black woman who is 33 and 
Seems like the life of her dreams is well underway. She has the education, the job, the down payment for the house. She even has a, a hot boyfriend. And then she gets a diagnosis that's unexpected and kind of brings everything crashing down. And I was like flipping through and I noticed, which got me really excited. I noticed that it has like text messages in the book and I thought that was so fun. So excited to read that. And I also picked up The Mothers by Britt Bennett. I have, speaking of hardcover books that I don't read, I have The Vanishing Half in hardcover and I almost bought the paperback version on this book trip and I didn't because I have the hardcover version and I just need to read it. I just need to read it. The Mothers is about three friends, Nadia, Luke, and Aubrey, um, kind of going from their like late teenhoods to adulthoods and Nadia and Luke have a relationship when they're teenagers and they hide it and I think that really affects their relationships as they get into adulthood. I don't know, I'm really into like coming of age kind of stories right now. The book I'm writing is kind of similar where it kind of goes from teenagehood up to adulthood. So I'm really interested in those topics. So excited to read this guy. The next challenge which I bought the most books for <laughs> was to pick books from genres I don't normally read. I got five books. <laughs> Why did I do this? The first is called If We Were Villains. This is kind of, it looks like a mystery thriller book. I've been really wanting to get into mystery thrillers, so I'm excited about this guy. It's about seven young actors that are in this play, and on the day Oliver Marks, who's one of them, is released from jail, a detective wants to know the truth. After 10 years of them being in jail, what really happened on this night of this play? And there's like different roles. Everybody has a different role and it's like separated into scenes. It's just, it's very interesting. It looks really interestingly written. The next two are short stories, which I was just looking at my receipt and these bitches were more expensive than the fucking full size novels that I bought. What the hell kind of rip off is that? Anyways, the first one is called Autobiography of Red. Uh, I haven't heard a, a, a th even a peep about this book. A little whisper, nothing. Uh, it's about a young boy, Jaren, and he's a red-winged monster. Uh, but he escapes his abusive brother, affectionate but inf infectual mother, finds solace behind the lens of his camera, and in the arms of a young na man named Hercules. Again, kind of coming of age, a little whimsical. It kind of reminds me of the book I'm reading now, which is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I don't know, this, something just like grabbed me about the synopsis for this one. But it's written in prose, so it's like poems. The next one is called O Caledonia by Elspeth Barker. And this guy is a mystery. So it's about this woman, Janet. She is 16 years old, or she's a girly, I guess. She's 16 years old and she's found um, murdered uh, wearing her mother's lace evening dress. And it's kind of about what happened to her, talking about her from death to birth to death. And yeah, it was it seems very like mysterious and Kind of reminds me a little bit of Twin Peaks kind of vibes. I hate, though, the, like, in uneven edges of this book. Next one I got is The Psychology of Money. Timeless Lessons on Wealth, Greed, and Happiness, Morgan Housel. Uh, I don't read psychology books. I don't read finance books. But I would like to, like, one of my journeys this year is to be more financially confident so why not like bring that into my reading hobby and read something that like kind of like builds the brain muscle a little bit and this had really great reviews so I'm excited about it I like that it's about what really got me was typically finance is taught as a math based field where data and formulas tell us exactly what to do but in the real world people don't make financial decisions on a spreadsheet they make them at the dinner table or in a meeting room or where personal history, your unique view of the world, ego, pride, marketing, odd incentives are scrambled together. So I thought that was really interesting that it's like told through like a more emotional level rather than like strategic level. So, and it's not that long. It's totally a nice digestible amount. And then the last book from this 
book genres that I don't really <laughs> read is this one called Fast Like a Girl, a hardcover. I know, what am I doing? I'm never gonna read this. A Woman's Guide to Using the Healthy Power of Fasting to Burn Fat, Boost Energy, and Balance Hormones by Mindy Peltz. I mentioned in a couple videos that I've started intermittent fasting. I used to do this a while ago and it was really great and I decided to start up again. So I was very fascinated by this one because she talks about um, not only like intermittent fasting, like what to do, what are the, you know, science behind it, etc., etc., but also involving your menstrual cycle, which I didn't even think of being a thing. So I'm really excited to read about this. The next one is a graphic novel or a manga, and I saw this one. This is the one where I was going to freaking. <laughs> I was like searching up and down the aisles on my Barnes & Noble trying to look for this and then I asked them and they couldn't find it. So I went to a different one and this is called Fangs by Sarah Anderson. I'm absolutely obsessed with the cover. It's like a fabric cover. It feels very like old timey. I'm obsessed with the, everything about this. Sarah Anderson makes those really cute comics. Also it's like all black spine and like black when you open it. It's very very aesthetically pleasing but this is a graphic novel uh it's a love story between a vampire and a werewolf that is the synopsis of it <laughs> uh, i'm really excited i love sarah anderson's comics and i i didn't know she like wrote graphic novel books but yeah this is gonna be i'm really excited to read this guy and I'm excited to like display it. The next one is a book I want to reread and that would be Book Lovers. I actually have it over there because I'm annotating it um, for a friend and I kind of already wrote all over it. But I already have Book Lovers. I didn't buy a new one. <laughs> Although I probably should have because I'm going to give her my only copy. <sighs> the next one is a book that's been on your TBR for more than a year. I only bought one book. Uh, and that is Women Who Run With Wolves. This has been my TBR for like a year and a half. I put it on there when a YouTuber recommended this book that she read when she was going through a breakup and it really helped her like connect to her womanhood and her woman friendships. The things I'm concerned about with this guy, they he pulled out two. He pulled out a jumbo version, like a large print version, and this tiny one. And I was like, I'm not going to read that jumbo, but I'm not going to read the jumbo one. The tiny one, though, like the words are, are so incredibly small and the pages are like... Whew. Last category is a friend's favorite. Um, this is, I also went shopping on my bookshelf and I picked Love in Other Words. This is my favorite, friend's, one of my friend's favorite books. I gotta read it this year. I gotta read it this year. It's gonna happen. This is about Macy and Elliot. And I think it's like a sexual, sexual? And maybe it is. <laughs> a second chance romance. Kind of like childhood friends to lovers. I think it's told between alternating timelines. And I didn't even realize that this takes place outside of San Francisco, which is where I'm from. I'm from outside of San Francisco. And every time I remember that, I'm like, oh my God, I need to read this. But then I don't, like something just doesn't pull me to it. If you didn't notice, I have like no romance books in this haul. I've only been reading romance, but I'm feeling like branching out this year. But I'm gonna branch in for this one. Lastly, I picked uh, a favorite from one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Sarah Caroli. Love, love you, bitch. Uh, she read this one and cried on camera. And sometimes I feel like I want to just sob uncontrollably from reading a book. So I picked up If He Had Been With Me. I uh, love the co cover. It's very like angsty, emo vibes. It's a young adult novel. Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but then something changed or they changed. Now they do their best to ignore each other. Um, as time passes, Autumn realized she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be heartbreaking and very sad. Let's see if I can pick them all up because that's all the books I bought <laughs> for the thumbnail, right? Here's all the books. Oh no, we're falling. We're falling. Those are all the books I bought today. 
If you guys like this video, please subscribe for more wacky content. I am guarantee I will provide it for you. Until next time, bye!